So you might remember it was about seven years ago that a portion of the country, including southern Illinois, experienced that total solar eclipse. It was quite a sight to see and really quite moving for those who saw it, including myself. So what do you need to know as we prepare for the eclipse coming up in a month? Here we go. Let me show you. There's a party in the sky happening a month from now on April 8th. More than 31 million people across 15 states, including parts of Illinois, will see the moon completely cover the sun in a total solar eclipse, which will briefly turn day into night. We are so lucky that this is possible here on Earth. It's dependent on very particular orbits, sizes of the sun and the moon. Dubbed the Great American Solar Eclipse of 2024, its path of totality will travel over a portion of northern Mexico before entering the U.S. It will then touch southeast Canada before moving out to sea. The Adler Planetarium is gearing up for the big day with a free outdoor event. Right now, inside the planetarium, they have their Chasing Eclipses exhibit. It talks a little bit about the science of eclipses and how something like this event is happening, but it also explores a little bit of the human element of eclipses. There's this huge group of people all across the world that um, are really passionate about going and chasing down these eclipses, trying to see as many as they can. Carbondale, Illinois, just 96 miles southeast of St. Louis, was in the center line of the 2017 eclipse and will be again this year. They're the really lucky kind of X marks the spot for the last two total eclipses we've had. Chicago will experience just a partial solar eclipse with up to 94% coverage. There will definitely be a bit of noticeable darkening once you get past that kind of 90% point. Here at the Adler, they've got a great reminder to always wear the solar glasses or have a solar viewer like this. And here in Chicago, you need these solar viewers the whole time during the eclipse. Only in the path of totality can you ever look at the sun without one of these viewers. What we'll see depends on the weather, but if you're lucky enough to witness it, like I did in 2017. The minute you saw that little sliver of the sun peek out from the moon. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but it is. I've been dreaming of this for a very long time. I remember that yeah. day. Wow, it yeah. Was so exciting. I mean, it is something where it just feels so unnatural because it feels like everything is different in the environment with the sun oh. being cover covered by the moon. And you just feel like you're part of something really big when it happens. So it's really great to see. So I'm happy I'm going back down to Carbondale. You are. Yes. I was going yes. to ask. Yes. Yes. So yeah. Super excited about that. But I, I really encourage you to find these solar viewers or solar glasses now before we get closer to the eclipse because here in Chicago, you cannot look at the sun without okay. one of these to cover okay. your eyes. You got to protect your eyes. Good to know. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.